Yo, I'm Troy, this is TM Fitness. When you're coaching people, particularly where weight loss is concerned, you often hear a question along the lines of, I'm eating 1200 calories per day and I'm not losing weight. The reason you're not losing weight is because you're eating more than you think. It's as simple as that. There is literally tons of research on this. When people are self-reporting the food that they're eating, they underestimate by as much, sometimes more than 50%. So that's 50% of all the calories that they're consuming from the food and the beverages that they're consuming are being missed when they're writing it down. Think about that for a moment. Just a quick uh, Google threw up a, a handful of, of uh, research papers. So there's so much data on this, so many studies have been done on this. It's in the tens, possibly the hundreds. Just a handful of them that I found with, on the first page of Google. Uh, Lickman, 1992. Ree, 2015. Natteran, 2010. Horner, 2002. Walker, 2018. I've read all of these. They all say pretty much the same sort of thing. You can look these up yourself if you want. The science is unrefutable on this. People are terrible at reporting their food intake. We naturally underestimate the amount of calories that we consume because it's a natural defense mechanism. Your body does not want you to starve to death. So you naturally underestimate the amount of food that you're consuming in order to slightly overeat to keep yourself nice and healthy and strong. So a typical food recall uh, if I ask a, a weight loss client, this doesn't happen so much with performance related clients, so their goals are slightly different, so their, their mentalities and beliefs are different. But with weight loss clients, a typical uh, week's intake might look something like this. And this is usually towards the beginning of the journey where they've got a lot of, of doubts and unrealistic expectations and a lot of learned behaviours and, and poor beliefs based on the kind of mainstream message, which is mostly all wrong. Monday, 800 calories, they've skipped breakfast. Tuesday, 1200 calories. Wednesday, 1400 calories. Thursday, 800 calories, stop recording after lunch. Friday, nothing. Saturday, nothing. Sunday, nothing. I see this kind of thing a lot. So their average for the week, from what they've reported, is around 1200 calories, but their total their real total is probably far more than that. This bit here, so the days that they have reported are quite possibly incorrect. They might be slightly out, they might be vastly out, depending on how honest they are and depending on how clued up they are. It's usually not that people are deliberately misreporting, they often just forget things, particularly if you're writing it down at the end of the day, you're gonna forget that that you know, 300 calorie latte that you had, you're gonna forget the biscuits that you had, you know, or you, you know, you're estimating and guessing the amount of butter you spread on your, on your food or the amount of uh, peanut butter that you've spread on your, on your crackers or whatever. And you, you're, you know, you're told that a, a, a size, a, a typical serving of that is 30 grams and you've used like 100 grams, you know. So that's the kind of thing that's going on with the misreporting there. Then you get to this day here, so Thursday where they've, where they've recorded 800 calories, but they've stopped recording at midday or you know after lunch. And I see this a lot, no more food reported. That's the classic fuck it moment. That's when they've, because they've eaten so little over these days, they're, they're tired, they're grumpy and they're hungry. And then they eat something because their body's going, for goodness sake, give me some goddamn energy. So they eat something that's highly palatable and highly energy dense. And it's usually a quote unquote unhealthy food. It's like chocolate or cake or pizza or something. And then they go, oh my God, I've broken it now. It's, I, I feel so guilty. And that's their fuck it moment. I've fallen off the wagon, they'll say. I've fallen off the wagon, this invisible wagon that people create in their head as an excuse for poor decisions. And it is a decision. No one forced you to eat that cake. You made a conscious decision to put that food in your mouth. So they have that fuck it moment and then they fall off the wagon completely and they go, it's all broken. I might as well just keep going. And then it just snowballs out of control over the next few days. They eat all the food and they keep telling themselves the diet starts on Monday. Oh, well, I've, I've broken the diet here. I might as well just 
keep going, overindulge, and then I'll start again on Monday, and then the cycle continues, which is why they usually start Monday by skipping breakfast, because oh, well, I've, got to, I've got to make up for lost time. That's obviously a hypothetical situation, but I've seen this kind of thing more times than, than I care to, care to remember, really, so it's not far off the truth for a lot of people. What you should be doing is being consistent understand that there is no such thing as a fattening food so you can have a slice of cake and as long as you make it fit within your calories it's absolutely fine it's you haven't broken the diet you don't have to be eating clean food all the time you don't have to be 100 percent perfect all the time 80 percent perfect is good enough most of the time so you need to understand how energy balance works. You need to understand how you can make those numbers work for your favor. You need to realize that you don't have to be eating these ridiculously low, low numbers. You can eat more food than that, particularly if you're exercising as well. You can be flexible with your food choices. So you can have some of these unhealthy or fattening foods and still lose weight. It's not the insulin, it's not the sugar, it's not the fat, it's the calories, it's the energy balance. And then you just need to be consistent. Fading in and out of it like this is the reason that you're not getting anywhere with your diet. But you need to change your attitude, you need to change your beliefs, you need to change your lifestyle. Energy balance is the mechanism that, that predicts weight loss or weight gain, but it's the behaviors that feed into that the energy balance is here, but it's your lifestyle around it that makes, you know, that that dictates the behaviours that that influence the energy balance. Your food environment, your mood, your levels of self-esteem, your past history, your your social situations, the support of your friends and family, all these things matter. But if you're saying to yourself, I'm eating 1200 calories a day and I'm not losing weight, 100% you're not eating 1200 calories a day every day otherwise you would be losing weight okay if you've got any questions put them in the box give us a like give us a share show this to all your friends who say this on a regular basis and I'll catch you later